Hello class. So welcome back to our today's English class. So as for today, or uh, I hope you guys are in a good conditions and you guys are ready for our today's class. So guys, for your information, our today's class, I'm going to teach you guys for paper 2, okay? How you're going to answer for the paper 2 for section A. Okay, jadi untuk hari ni saya akan uh, ajar awak untuk menjawab soalan untuk kertas 2 bahasa Inggeris. Okay, untuk kertas 2 untuk bahagian A. Okay, jadi uh, sebelum tu kita akan tengok dulu apa yang ada dalam bahagian A tu. Okay, so we are going to look at uh, what is uh, what are the things that in the section A and how you are going to answer the section A. Okay, I'm going to share uh, some tips with you guys on how to answer it. Uh, excellently okay so that you know how to transfer the information correctly and you can get the full marks for the okay so in the video uh, told you that for the paper 2 section A it is uh, the information transfer okay untuk bahagian paper 2 untuk bahagian A ni ialah uh, pemindahan maklumat maksudnya awak kena pindahkan maklumat daripada petikan yang diberikan ke dalam uh, Soalan dalam jawapan tu okay So as for the section A It carries 10 marks Okay so untuk bahagian ni Ia membawa 10 markah Okay 10 markah untuk bahagian A Okay and then Okay so how you want to answer the question Okay so first of all As as you guys heard just now That you need to highlight the keywords Okay we Whenever you got the question you need to read through the question first of course and then you have to understand what is the content about after you understand the content what is the content about and after that we are going to read the question and from that part we are going to highlight the keywords to answer it correctly okay so whenever you highlight the keywords it can help you to detect the answer okay so next one, you need to compare the keywords with the answer given. Okay, so basically from the passage given, you need to okay, you need to find the answer, right? So you whenever you already highlighted the keywords so that it is easier for you to compare the answer given. So you know which is the best answer for the blank part. Okay? So untuk pengetahuan awak, macam mana kita nak jawab bahagian A ni? So first kali kita kena highlightkan uh, keywords dia. Okay, awak kena highlightkan points dia dekat situ. Apa yang dia nak untuk soalan tu? So bila kita dah highlight point dekat situ, kita boleh bandingkan uh, keywords yang kita highlightkan tu dengan jawapan yang diberikan. Okay, so bila kita dah highlight dekat situ, kita nampak dah yang mana satu jawapan yang boleh dimasukkan untuk tempat kosong. Okay, so basically ada lima tempat kosong okay, dan setiap tempat kosong itu membawa dua markah. Okay, jadi bila membawa dua markah, awak kena tulis jawapan yang penuh mengikut jawapan yang diberikan, mengikut petikan yang diberikan. Okay, so you have to answer it based on the passage given. Okay, and of course you need to uh, check your spelling. Okay, don't get the spelling wrong and don't get the punctuation wrong. Okay, because whenever you get the spelling wrong or the punctuation wrong, uh, you are going to be deducted. The mark are going to be deducted. Okay, so you are going to lose maybe one mark from there. So you are going to just get one mark. So it's a loss for that. Okay, so this part is very easy for you to get mark. So don't don't ever ever lose the mark. Okay, so because it's very easy, you just need to transfer the information given to the blank part. Okay, and the answer is already given there. You just have to find it and just write it down correctly and that's all so it's easier for you to get the 10 marks okay so that is for the paper 2 section a so next one let's look at the example of the question on how we want to do it just now as you saw in the video the teacher already taught you guys on how it okay but now i'm going to explain it my own way okay i'm going to explain it so that you can get more information from there you know how to answer it correctly so now let's look at the example of the question together okay kita akan tengok 
contoh soalan bersama-sama and macam mana kita nak apply tips tadi macam mana kita nak highlight keywords macam mana kita nak bandingkan keywords dengan jawapan yang diberikan dengan dalam petikan yang diberikan okey so sekarang ni saya akan tunjukkan awak macam mana kita nak buat tu so come let's have a look Okay, this is the question. So basically, I always teach you guys that whenever you get a question, you need to read through the instruction and also the question given, right? So first thing first is you have to read the instruction. Okay, perkara pertama yang awak kena buat bila awak dapat soalan ialah awak kena baca soalan yang diberikan. Baca dulu arahan dia. So first of all, let's read the question together. Instruction. Study the notes below. And use the information to complete the following text. Okay. Maksudnya dekat sini dia kata kita kena uh, baca maklumat yang diberikan dan untuk mem, uh, untuk menjawab soalan yang diberikan. Okay. So, for the first column, for the first box, bad habit. Cigarettes contain nicotine and other toxic substances. Guys, as you can see over here. You know... So over here is the part for the it is uh, the passage is about smoking it's about bad smoking okay uh, it's a bad habit for a smoker so for the first column it state that bad habit and cigarettes contain nicotine and other toxic substances maksudnya rokok mempunyai nikotin dan bahan-bahan toksik yang lain okay for the second box smoke continuously chain smokers people around smokers passive smokers okay so over here maksud dia bila kita merokok berterusan okay itu dipanggil sebagai perokok chain smoker okay and then orang yang sekeliling perokok ni okay ialah dipanggil sebagai passive smoker passive smoker ni maksudnya kita tak merokok but then bila kita berdekatan dengan orang yang merokok ni kita akan secara langsung kita menghidu bau asap tersebut Okay, so third one, okay, for the below box, thing can stop, very difficult to quit. Okay, maksudnya perokok ni dia peringat kata uh, senang boleh un- boleh kita nak berhenti. Tapi sangat susah untuk berhenti bila kita dah start merokok. Okay, sebab bila kita dah start merokok, kita akan menjadi ketagih. So, bila dah ketagih tu, benda tu akan susah untuk dibuang. Okay, next one, deadly diseases. Silent killer Okay Merokok ni akan membawa kepada penyakit-penyakit yang boleh membunuh Dan ia ialah pembunuh silent killer Maksudnya ianya membunuh secara diam ha, Membunuh secara diam maksudnya dia akan makan dalam badan kita secara perlahan-lahan Dan benda tu kesan tu kita tak akan nampak sekarang Badan kita akan nampak di jangka masa yang akan datang Okay next one Bad for skin Loose of appetite Mouth and lung cancer Destroys lungs Okay. So uh, Sangat tak bagus untuk kulit okay. Boleh menghilangkan selera okay. Boleh menyebabkan kanser mulut dan juga kanser paru-paru Dan boleh merosakkan paru-paru So as we know that whenever we start smoking The smoke is going to harm our lungs okay. Jadi asap tu akan merosakkan paru-paru kita Dan akan menyebabkan banyak penyakit yang datang So guys, basically whenever we already read through the passage given, we know that this passage is about smokers, right? It's about the bad habit of smoking. Yes, okay. So now, let's look at the question. What the question want, okay? Okay guys, so now as you can see, okay, for the section A, so let's look the, on your right hand side okay so based on the notes complete the text below with the correct information so maksudnya dekat sini berdasarkan nota yang kita dah baca tadi kita kena masukkan pilihan jawapan dalam tempat-tempat kosong yang disediakan okay so now let's read through the question first before we start to answer smoking cigarettes is a bad habit because it is harmful to our body Cigarettes contain nicotine and other toxic substances which can lead to such as heart disease, a silent killer. Many people begin to smoke for the fun of it. They think that 
it is easy to stop smoking. But the truth is that a person who smokes relatively constantly, when there is a smoker around us, we unknowingly breathe in secondhand smoke. This is called, which is equally bad for our health. Smoking is bad for our skin and can cause cancer. Constant smoking destroys our lungs, it causes and slowly leads to loss of appetite. Smoking gradually destroys our body parts and affects our lives. Okay, so that is the question we already read through. So guys, now for the first answer. So, you need to detect the keywords first. Okay, so smoking cigarette is a bad habit because it is harmful to our body. Cigarettes contain nicotine and other toxic substances which can lead to so let's look at the keywords so okay so the keyword is after the blank space such as heart disease a silent killer so now look at the question which box got the heart disease silent killer so the below box got the silent killer okay so what is the answer that you can put for number one? So the answer will be deadly diseases. Okay. So because the below box for the second below box, it only contains silent killer and also deadly diseases. So which can lead to deadly diseases such as heart disease, a silent killer. Okay. So that is the answer for number one. So for number two, many people begin to smoke for the fun of it. They think that it is easy to stop smoking, but the truth is that. So what? Which one is the keywords? So the keywords will be easy to stop smoking. So now let's look at the question: Which box got the easy to stop smoking? Okay. So for the below box, for the first, for the first box at the bottom. Okay, thing can stop, very difficult to quit. Okay, so the answer over here is, but the truth is that it is very difficult to quit. Okay, yes. So next one, number three. A person who smokes relatively constantly, okay, constantly means uh, berterusan. Okay, constantly maksudnya berterusan. So now, the keyword is, Relatively constantly Maksudnya berterusan So now you have to look at the words Means constantly So For the second box At the above one For the above one Okay look at the question For the above one For the second box Got the smoke continuously Smoke continuously Means same meaning with the constantly Okay So now The answer will be For number three is It is a chain smoker Okay so, a person who smoke relatively constantly, it is a chain smoker. Okay, maksudnya, dekat sini, orang yang merokok berterusan ni dipanggil sebagai chain smoker. Okay. Next one, number four. When there is a smoker around us, we unknowingly breathe in secondhand smoke. This is called... Okay, so the keywords will be... Smoker around us. So, look at the second box at the above one. People around smokers, passive smokers. So we already got the keyword smoker around us, people around smokers. That is the keyword. So the answer over here for number four is passive smokers. Okay, this is called passive smoker. Okay, which is equally bad for our health. Last one for number five constant smoking destroys our lungs, it causes. Keywords is Constant smoking destroy our lungs So look at the words Destroy our lungs Look at the bottom one For the third box at the bottom one You can find the word Destroys lungs Okay So the answer over here means It causes Mouth and lung cancer Okay And slowly leads to loss of appetite Okay Smoking gradually destroys our body parts and affects our life. 
So guys, so that is how you want to answer the question for section A. So you need to detect the keywords. So whenever you already detected the keywords, you can find the answer in the box. Okay. So it doesn't mean that you have to follow the box. Tak semestinya soalan tu memberi awak kota. Ada juga yang bagi awak petikan terus. So dekat sini point dia ialah awak kena cari keywords bila awak dah dapat keywords. Dekat situ baru awak tahu yang mana jawapan yang paling sesuai untuk masukkan di tempat kosong tersebut. Okay. So that's how you want to answer the question for paper 2 section A. Okay. So paper 2 section A gets you 10 marks. Okay. 5 question, 5 answer carries you 2 marks each. Okay. So don't forget to check your spelling. Don't miss out your punctuation. Okay. Make sure you write the answer correctly. So that's how easier for you to get 10 marks. Okay. So this section A is actually a bonus section for you to get 10 marks easily for the paper 2. Okay, so that's all for today's class. I hope you guys can understand and you can apply those tips that I share with you guys to answer for the section A parts. Okay, so next one, you can do the exercise and you can pass it to me in your Google Classroom. So I wish you guys a best of luck. So if you guys have anything, you got any question, you can just ask me and I will answer it to you guys. Okay, so thank you. Thank you for your time. See you guys again in our next class. Bye.